Hi guys! If you're a hobbyist, interior designer of some sort, you're probably constantly on Pinterest trying to find ideas and Pinterest has some of the coolest DIYs ever. I kind of wish some of them was in video format because I'm a little bit lazy and I don't read a lot. There's a lot of artwork on Pinterest and I thought, you know, instead of buying a piece of artwork, which I do plan to buy a couple of pieces just because I want to support other artists, but I also want to kind of recreate my own. And today we are going to attempt this silhouette painting. So when I first showed this to my mom, she was like, oh, is that you blowing kisses? And I was like, how do you even know it's me? And my brother said the same thing too, so I was kind of shocked. But yes, it's a silhouette of me, and I will walk you guys through the tutorial. Okay, so you're going to start off with taking random pictures of yourself blowing kisses. And excuse me, I sound a little bit under the weather because I'm doing this voiceover while I'm sick. But anyways, you're going to bring it into Photoshop and turn it into a silhouette, which I have linked a couple of really good tutorials down below for you. I also add in a few hearts just to see what it would look like. But really, you only need one to trace around, so I'm just gonna print out one heart just because I wanna save ink because I'm cheap like that. Of course, you don't have to turn this into a silhouette onto Photoshop. You can just print it out as is and cut it out on paper, and it'll work just fine. But the important thing is to print it so that you'll get a big picture to trace around. So what you have to do is you have to open the image in paint. Next, go to print and then print setup. And at the bottom right hand corner where it says fit to one by one, you can change that to two by two or however many pages you want that one image to be printed on. The more pages you want that image to be printed on, the bigger the image will be, so just keep that in mind. This way you won't get one small image on one page, you'll get one image on multiple pages. And like I said before, you don't have to put it into Photoshop or anything like that. Just print out your image and cut around the silhouette. So like I have done here, I went ahead and printed out the silhouette. I printed out on multiple pages and then I cut it out and taped it all together for one large image so that it would fit my canvas. The canvas I'm using is from Michael's Craft Store. It came in the pack of five and if you have a coupon, it can become a huge steal. Next, you'll just need some acrylic paint. Black and red is what I'll be using, but I got these on sale so that's why I'm showing off the bundle of paint that I just bought. So I placed my image onto the canvas and I lightly traced around my silhouette with just a pencil. Now it's time to paint. It's really simple. If you're painting it black, there's no need to mix or think about the look of it. It turns out pretty well in most cases. I also wanted to be artsy and I went ahead and added a bit of color to the paint. So I decided to ombre the looks of the heart. I basically just added a little bit of black to my red paint to start the ombre and then I slowly transitioned to the red paint. So that's the finished result. I might add some Christmas lights to them once I figure out where I want my painting to go. I might actually do a couple of other ones, but for now, this is pretty good. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Remember to follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. And if you decide to try this out for yourself, send me a picture with the hashtag S-L-O-A-B-N. Every week or maybe every couple of weeks, depending on when I do my DIYs, I'll select a couple of you guys to be featured in my next video. So good luck everyone, enjoy, and I'll see you guys later. Rock on DIYs! Fires.